Hey everyone, I am Achimides Montegaspa, aka Casillas, and in this video we are building a Pong game in Scratch. Scratch is an MIT programming platform for children. It's built on top of Squeak Smalltalk and presents a very friendly interface. When you start a new project in Scratch, you got a blank stage and the cat sprite. The interface consists in a left bar where you can you can find the blocks on the top of this bar you got eight sections eight block sections in the middle we got the work area on top of work area the information bar and on the right you got on top the preview and the sprite bar here above the preview. You can change the views, the view mode here on the top. You got the small stage, full stage, and the presentation mode. To quit the presentation mode, press the escape key. Okay. For our Pong, we don't need the, the, the cat sprite, so let's delete it. Left click on the sprite in the sprites bar and delete. Now you need to prepare the stage. The stage is the, the game scene. Here the stage is selected. Now we go to backgrounds. Here. And we can edit our background button edit. Okay. We can paint our stage on green. Select the green color here. And the fill tool. And click on the canvas. And the canvas is green. Now we can we can draw two two boundaries to limit the where where the ball can go. So I will use the black color and the rectangle too. Now I'm gonna draw two rectangles, the top boundary. And the bottom boundary. Oops, too large. Cool. Click OK and we got our canvas. Now for the game, for the punk game, we need three actors: the computer, the player, and the ball. So let's create the, the player first. In the sprites bar, new sprite, select paint new sprite. Now I'm gonna paint the, the player. I will select the rectangle tool. Our player will be blue. And I'm drawing. Oops, it fails. That's the player, okay. I can move the player in the stage. And I will duplicate it for the computer. Left click on the sprite here, 
OK. Duplicate. Select the sprite one in the in the top button, in the information button, the name sprite one. I'm renaming it to player. Now select the sprite two in the info bar. I will rename sprite two to computer. Okay, now computer might be another color. Go to costumes, edit. I want a red computer, so select red, fill tool, and I click on the bar. Okay, and the computer is red now. Let's position these tools, drag and drop. Good old drag and drop. Missing the ball. In new sprite, select, choose new sprite from file. Customs. Things baseball one okay, but the ball's too large. I will resize it here in the, in the preview. Left click on the ball, resize this sprite. Um, I'm gonna make it smaller. Okay, good size. Clicking in presentation mode, we already got our three actors. Now let's make and move. Escape. Select the player, and the player needs some logic to move. So we've gone to the left bar, the section, control section. When red flag click it. When red flag click it means when the, the program starts. So when red flag click it, I want to center the player. So in motion, I got set Y to zero. So I take it and put under when click it. Zero in 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 the y axis means the center of the screen. The same for 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 x axis. So now we need a um, main loop, control session, forever. Forever is a loop that runs forever, as the name says. What do we need in this in this loop? We need to detect the keys pressing and make the player react. So, if the up key is pressed, the player must go up. If if block here in control section here in sensing. Key space press it here. I put in in the if hexagon, but I don't want space. I want up arrow. If key up arrow press it, the player must go up. It's a motion in the motion section. Change y by ten. Change y by a positive number means go up. Now we need to, to do the same thing for, for down. Control, if, oops, out of the, of the previous block, motion sensing, key pressed. Now we want down arrow, motion session, 
change y by 10 but now we want to go down go down is change by a negative number minus 10 let's check um, press the flag the flag the green flag and up down it works but we got a problem and the player can go out of the screen we need to prevent it stop but the red button how do we do that we need to check if the player is colliding with the with the boundaries so control we got another if inside the previous block the buff they buff and we need to check if the player is touching the the boundaries so sensing color is the third third block color is touching now if color i will click in the the first square and click in the player on the player okay now i click on the second box and on the boundary if color blue is touching black we need to undo the chain we've done before so motion change y by we have changed it by 10 now we have changed by minus 10 the same for for the, the the second the second block so we click on on the color is touching we left click duplicate put there in the if hexagon and change y by 10 uh, let's try it up stop down it stop okay it stops on each boundary the player is, is done player does everything the player is meant to do now let's let's play with the ball the ball here in the sprites sprites bar select the ball we i i forgot to rename the ball it's still sprite one i will rename it to ball and now let's start with the logic control section when red green flag is clicked the first thing is put the ball in the middle in the center of the screen so motion set x to zero and set y to zero and the ball is in the middle now we need to choose where the ball goes so point in direction direct in point in direction point in direction 19 90 here 90 means 90 degrees um, scratch represents the the angular the angular mo uh, the direction pointing zero to up and going clockwise so nine degrees means right now back to control we're going to create its main loop we're using forever motion section I'm now we're moving the ball move 10 steps inside let's see if it works and the ball moves to the right when i click again the ball come back to center but it's not it's not cool the ball goes right to right right <laughs> 
uh, we need some kind of randomness to 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 start the ball. So 90, 90 degrees is not what we want. We want we want a random value from thirty degrees to one hundred fifty degrees. Go to operator session. Pick handle here and override 90. Okay, pick handle from third degrees to 150 degrees. Let's try it. Okay. Okay, each time it goes a different direction. Okay, but the ball doesn't kick anywhere. The ball needs to, to bounce in the, the boundaries and needs to kick on the to reflect on the players. So let's make the ball bounce on the boundaries. We need to check if the ball is on the bound. So, control. If sensing, no, so sensing, yes. Touching color. I click in the square and I click in the boundary. Oh. Okay, if touching black, if touching color black, motion, session, if on edge bounce. Okay, let's start. And the ball bounces on the edge. We put the, the if on edge bounce inside another if. Because you don't want the ball to bounce in the in the in the vertical boundaries. Now the ball needs to to kick on players, so we need to check if the ball is touching the player. Control, control. If right below operators or now sensing touching the first the first block again in the first touching we're selecting the computer in the second the player if touching computer or touching player we need to flip the direction over the y axis so motion point in direction To flip over the y axis, we need to multiply the direction by by minus one. We need to change the sign. So operators multiply motion the very same direction by minus one. So, if touching computer or player, point in, point in direction, direction times minus one. Or if collide with, with either player or computer, kick. Let's try. Oh, it kicks. But the computer doesn't respond. Let's make the computer respond. Select the computer here in the sprites bar, and let's try the the same the, the same process. Control when red flag clicked. Motion set y to zero. Now 
If the ball is going away from the computer, the computer must chase the center. If the ball is coming to the computer, the computer mu must chase the ball. So we need a, a, a target for the computer to, to chase. It's named variable. So we go to variables, make a variable, target for this sprite only. Okay. Note that the the target appears in the in the preview. We don't want that. So here on the on the left uncheck the this checkbox here. Okay. That's okay. Now control we need to start a main loop forever and check if the, the, the ball is going or coming. If else. You need to check if the ball direction if the ball direction is positive going or negative coming so operators less than so what's less than sensing Pos exposition of ball here but not exposition, we select the direction. If the direction of ball is less than zero, or if the direction of the ball is left, so the ball, the, the, the computer must, the computer's target is the, the, the ball Y. So variables, set target to, And then sensing exposition of ball, but we want y position of ball. Okay. Otherwise, the computer must chase the center. So variable set target to zero. Okay. To change the target, control. If else, Oops. if less than motion, y position. If y position is less than variable, target. If y position is less than target, we need to increase the y position. So, motion, change y by 10. Else, back to control session, if the y position is greater motion, y position, variable, target. If Y position is greater than, tar than target, we need to decrease. So motion, change Y by minus 10. Let's try again. Well, it's not moving. <laughs> of course, it's inside the block. It should be outside the block. Again. Aha! Now it's working. We can play all day. And the computer will never miss the ball. So we need to make this game a little more fair 
adding some randomness to the computer. Instead of 10 and minus 10, we can add a random value. So operators pick random and overrate 10 from 0 to 8 and below the same overread minus 10 pick random from minus 8 to 0 let's try again ah much better now the computer still get the ball but it can fail not yet <laughs> now we need a score we need to know who score the game. Okay, the object that can know who scored is the ball. So select the ball and we're gonna create a, a sign up, draw when I receive and here, when I receive, click there, new sign up, restart. Now I will take this off, put there, and broadcast and wait. Restart. Now we can restart the ball whenever somebody scores. So, how do you know somebody scores? Has how do you know it, whether somebody scores? We need to check if the ball get the left or the right limit. So, stage is four hundred eighty large pixels large. So. It's from minus 240 to 240. So back to the ball. We must check if the ball is get the negative limit. So if here operator minus motion get the x take the x if the x is minor minus 239 if player if the ball gets the left the left limit the player scored so control broadcast and wait click here new player scored What happened when player score? For the ball. And I receive player score. They simply broadcast his start. And the player. The player needs a score. So variable. Make a variable. Score. Ah, now we got it. Look at that. 
player to score. Let me score a goal there. And now, control. When I receive the player to score, increment the, the score. So, variable. Change score by 1. And we need to set the score to 0 when we start. Now we're gonna do the same for the computer. Go to the ball, control. If greater than motion x position greater than 239 control broadcast and wait new computer scored okay when computer scored The ball needs to restart. Broadcast. Restart. And the computer. Go to the computer, select the computer. Create another variable. Make a variable. Score. Only for this sprite. And you can see the computer score there. So, control. When I receive computer score variable, change score by one. And here, when start, set score to zero. It must work. That's right. Presentation mode. Start. And we are playing Pong. Oh, point for me. Another. Oh, again. Oh, the Pong is complete. And a, a point for the computer. Oh, the computer is scored again. 2 by 2. So that's it. I hope you, you, you have enjoyed our video. And till next time. See ya.